What are the different modes of heat transfer? There are three modes of heat transfer. They are conduction, convection and radiation. Now let us understand each of these different modes one by one. Let us start with conduction. To understand conduction, let us take an example of a fire in an open space. When we introduce a metal rod in the fire, we see that the left end of the rod gets heated first and then the heat transfers to the right end because of the difference in temperature. After some time, we see that the rod becomes hot and we won't be able to hold it with our bare hands. We need gloves to hold the rod. Thus, we can say that the transfer of heat between the two points in a body due to the difference in temperature between the points is known as conduction. The example of conduction is the cooking pan mathematically the rate of heat conduction is given by the Fourier's law. It is represented as where K is the thermal conductivity. T1 minus T2 is the change in temperature. X is the thickness of the medium. And A is the surface area of the body. Note, conduction always requires a medium. The medium can be either solid or fluid. Related terms are the steady and unsteady state heat conduction, one-dimensional heat conduction. Now let us understand convection. Let us take an example of a fire in an open space. Because of fire, the air near it gets heated up. We see that the heated air moves up as it is lighter than the colder air. Now if a person places his hands above the fire, he can feel the heat because of the upward motion of the heated air which is carrying the heat. This process is known as convection. Thus, we can say that convection is the mode of heat transfer due to the motion of a fluid carrying energy. The example of convection is water boiling in a pan. Mathematically, the convective heat transfer rate is given by the Newton's law of cooling and it is represented as where H is the convection heat transfer coefficient. AS is the surface area through which convection heat transfer takes place. And Ts minus T infinity is the temperature difference between the body and the environment. Note, faster the motion of fluid, greater will be the convection heat transfer. Related terms are forced convection, free convection, Now let us understand radiation. Let us take an example of a house getting heated up by the sun. Here what happens is that energy in the form of electromagnetic waves known as radiation is emitted by the sun. Then these electromagnetic waves come in contact with the house transferring the heat to the house. Thus, radiation is the energy emitted by a body in the form of electromagnetic waves. The example of radiation is electric heater Mathematically, the maximum rate of radiation 
that can be emitted from a surface at an absolute temperature Ts in Kelvin is given by the Stephen Boltzmann law and it is represented as where sigma is the Stephen Boltzmann constant and its value is 5.67108 watt per meter square. Note, the transfer of energy by radiation does not require a medium. Related term is radiation exchange between two or more bodies. Question. Remember keywords. Related terms are Remember diagram. Remember definition.